Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be showing you how to create these transparent icon buttons using HTML and CSS. All right, so these right here are fairly customizable and you can easily include them in any existing website or project and the code is very straightforward. So as we can see, if I was to hover over these buttons, we're gonna get um, a nice glow on the text as well as an increased opacity. Now we're also gonna be using an icon library to achieve this right here and there are many different icons for you to choose from so hopefully um, they're going to suit your needs and the source code for this is going to be linked down below if you would like to download it and follow along while you watch today's video. The icon library being used is called Ion Icons and as we can see here there are many different icons for you guys to choose from and I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below but the first step here in getting this to work and actually creating those icon buttons is going to be to uh, include or install these icons right here inside your HTML. Going up to the usage section right up here, we can now simply copy these two script tags right here and follow the instructions which say to include these two script tags before the closing body tag, all right? So going inside this tab right here, I have this. So we're starting from scratch and inside the HTML in the text editor, we get this right here, basically nothing but opened style tags, okay? So I'm gonna paste those two script tags at the bottom of my body and now the icons can be used on the web page. I'm just gonna go now inside the body and we're gonna begin with the HTML before moving on to the CSS to create these buttons, okay? So the first step here is gonna be to create a new button with a type of button and a class of button, okay? So the reason for including a type of button here is because if we did not include this type of button and this button was inside a form, if the user was to click on that button, it's actually going to submit that form. But if you include the type of button here, it's gonna ensure that you don't get in that situation. The class of button is so we only include our custom styling on the buttons on the web page, which have this class just to make sure that, you know, all your buttons aren't affected on the page. Okay, so inside this button here, there's gonna be two elements. The first one is gonna be the icon itself, and the second one is gonna be the icons or um, the button's text. Okay, so to actually display an icon inside the button, we can head back to the Iron Icons webpage here, up inside the icon section, and we can now go ahead and choose our icon. We're gonna be creating um, the download button, so I'll simply do a search for download in the search bar, and we have this one right here. Now, you guys can choose to use either outline, field, or sharp. I'm gonna be using the sharp version of that icon, so now I can simply copy the code right down here to my clipboard by simply clicking on it. Okay, so now, going back in the HTML, we can paste it right inside here, and we are done with that icon. So if I was to save this and go back in the browser, we're gonna get this right here, and it really was that straightforward. Okay, we can now move on to displaying our text inside the button. So going back inside here, we can create a new span with a class of button dash text and then just say something like download. We're now gonna be left with something like this. Okay, so the first thing to style up in the CSS is gonna be to basically align our text with our icon to make sure they're both vertically centered, all right? So going back inside here in the style tags, I might just quickly apply a background color to my body. I'll just say a background of 009578 and then move on to targeting the class of buttons. So. Like I mentioned just then, uh, to vertically center our icon and our text, we're gonna be using a display of inline flex here, and then an align items of center, and this right here is gonna give us that effect. 
If I save this and go back in the browser, we can see now our text and the icon are vertically centered. Perfect, okay? We can move on now to apply a padding of eight pixels um, around all four sides of the button, as well as a background of none and a border of none. If I save this and go back in the browser, we're gonna be uh, presented with this right here. As we can see, I'm making some steps to, of course, turning this right here into this right here, okay? Moving forward, we can now include a color of white for that text and also the icon color, um, as well as a cursor of pointer just to signify to the user that you can actually click on this button. And lastly here, we can apply an opacity of 0.8. That way, by default, when the button is not getting hovered over, it's going to be 80% opacity, giving us that you know non-hovered effect. Save this back in the browser and we get this right here. We can now move forward with the button by simply copying this and now just saying colon hover to now apply some different styles when the button is being hovered over. The first one here is gonna be an increase to that opacity, putting it back to one to increase the amount of white in the text and the icon. And the second property here is gonna be a text shadow. We'll say zero, zero, and then five PX. This just means a zero and zero for the positioning, and then five pixels for the shadow, uh, you know, size, okay? We can also now apply an RGBA of 255, 255, 255, and then 0 0.3 for a very subtle 30% white shadow. I'll save this, go back in the browser, and we end up with this right here when hovering over the button. Now, you guys may wish to increase the uh, intensity of your shadow to something like a 0.5 and now it's gonna be a lot more obvious as we can see right there, but it's up to you guys. I'm gonna put mine back to 0 0.3. Okay, cool. We're almost done. The next step or the last step is gonna be styling up the actual text itself. So for this, we can target the class of button-text and we can simply include a margin left of eight pixels. This right here is to create some space between the icon and the text, and it's gonna be the exact same value as the padding being used on the button just above. Now we can also include here a font family of, I'm gonna be using the font family of IBM, uh, Plex Sans with a fallback of Sans Serif. Obviously you guys can choose your own font, it is totally up to you, but the font does make a huge difference in the appearance, okay? As well as a font weight of bold to finish things off. So I can save this and go back in the browser and we're gonna end up with this right here. As we can see, we are now fully done with the icon button. So there you go guys, that's how to create uh, transparent icon buttons using HTML and CSS. If today's video helped you out, drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video.